The long-teased concept that John Diggle would become the first Green Lantern of Earth Prime in the Arrowverse has eventually been settled in The Flash Season 9 now and Diggle did not join the Green Lantern Corps. Those who believed the former vigilante and Argus agent's fate was written in the stars were disappointed by this discovery. The choice, though, was in keeping with the character's history and demeanor, and also sets the tone for his future Justice U series. The soldier turned bodyguard, who acted as Little John to Oliver Queen's Robin Hood, was a calming effect on the Emerald Archer after his return to civilization. He later became Green Arrow's spiritual brother as well as his crime-fighting sidekick, and when he wasn't taking up the Green Arrow mantle for himself, he went by the pseudonym Spartan. The bond that developed between John Diggle and Oliver Queen matched that of Green Lantern Hal Jordan and Oliver Queen in the comics. Because John Diggle has numerous character features with Green Lantern John Stewart, people speculated that he would become a Green Lantern in the Arrowverse. Arrow made numerous clues in this regard, including revealing that Diggle's stepfather was a guy named Stewart in the Flash of Earth-90 recognizing Diggle and remarking, you're not wearing your ring, referring to the Green Lantern's signature gear. With a strange box containing a glowing green object crashing to Earth near him as he was in the process of moving the last of his belongings from his home in Star City to Metropolis, where his family was already waiting for him, the series finale of Arrow seemed to set John Diggle on the path to becoming a Green Lantern. After the Arrow finale, Diggle made many appearances across the Arrowverse, claiming that he had been experiencing headaches and hearing voices ever since getting the box, but that he had been unable to open it a second time. This left John Diggle's future uncertain, so he sought advice from his pals at Star Labs and Wayne Enterprises about his physical state in the box. His final appearance was in the Batwoman Season 3 in which Luke Fox's attempts to unlock the box failed. The Flash Season 8, Episode 18, The Man in the Yellow Tie, featured John Diggle paying a visit to Eobard Thawne in his cell in the Argus prison facility on Lien Yu. After failing to discover any answers from current experts, Diggle turned to Thawne in the hopes that the crazy scientist from the future could know what the box was. The risk paid off, as the depowered Reverse Flash stated that he had heard of such cubes coming to those with the ability to wield immense power and influence the future at pivotal moments in their lives. Diggle was able to put himself in the correct frame of mind to open the box again with Thawne's help, and was shown images of a thousand lifetimes he might live. Diggle rejected the box and flung it aside, where it vanished in midair when he realized that all of those lives needed him to forsake his wife and children. This decision appears to put an end to John Diggle's chances of becoming a Green Lantern. While it was speculated that Diggle may feature in the upcoming HBO Max series Green Lantern Corps and serve as the point of view character for people unfamiliar with the Green Lantern lore, this looked like a bad match for Diggle's character. While Diggle was always at his finest as a sympathetic everyman whose stoicism was always put to the test by the weird metahuman threats he encountered on a regular basis, the jokes about him dealing with increasingly exotic extraterrestrial species as the Arrowverse Green Lantern wore thin soon. It also matches his demeanor better for him to be a mentor to a group of young heroes, as he is said to be in the future Justice U series. Diggle's character is ultimately defined by his love for his family, and as he stated in Season 8 of The Flash, there is no power in the universe more powerful than the love I have for my family. Even if it was for a great cause like being a Green Lantern, it would be completely out of character for John Diggle to desert his wife and children.